casting my mind back to the late uh, Charles Kofi Bofna, uh, the picture that I recollect uh, is a man of integrity, uh, a man who can be described as a disciplined figure. Uh, he, he was a fine actor. Uh, I think that anyone who have had the opportunity of seeing him act, I mean, will attest to the fact that this was someone who was full of talent. And I think that uh, as actors and actresses, especially the young generation, uh, what, what I would advise we look up and pick from the late Kofi Bokna is his discipline, nature, uh, his, his, his integrity, and of course uh, his, his awesome ability to act. He was such a fine actor. I certainly will miss him because we do not have many like him in the system. And uh, it's, it's unfortunate that at this time when uh, some of us uh, are so keen on working towards uh, rebuilding the guild, uh, that's the Ghana Test Guild, and then the creative industry as a whole. I mean, we have missed such a talent. I mean, such, such a great mind. Uh, it, on, on, on some few occasions that uh, we shared ideas on the industry. I think that, I mean, he, he, he had a lot of, 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 of creative intellect. And uh, he, he, he was someone who was so very experienced as well. And I think that we are going to miss all the experience and the intellect that he had. He was such a man full of the industry. I must say, I don't, or I didn't know him personally like that. I've never done a film with him. I think I've met him at three occasions, if I can remember correctly. And we just, we just had a pleasantries and that was it. So I haven't really known him like that. But from the distance, he's always been a fine actor. I've seen him in a number of films. And it, at the point in time, I was on my drawing board and I was trying to name, name individuals that I had not worked with. And I, it just clicked that he was on my list. And I, I think one of the desires, one of the fulfillment I would have had is uh, if I had the opportunity to work with him. But um, it's not too late uh, for the rest of my list. I think I'll make it a personal uh, resolution to entreat myself to work with those on my list as quickly as possible before the, the worst things happen. But I think he was a fine gentleman, a fine actor, and I really wish I, I had worked with him uh, before this, um, before his, uh, his, his, his passing. Uncle Buckner will be missed, absolutely, uh, because we need such fatherly roles. We need such, he has so much uh, weight as a person. Without even saying a single word, you feel his presence. He's got so much presence. And, and these are the kind of uh, uh, fatherly or characters that we need in the industry. So definitely there is a gap that has been created. And, and the industry will f for sure uh, miss him. We just wish he could have been around for a little longer. But God knows best. The late Uncle Kofi Bakina was a great guy. I have very good memories of him because I remember when I was start when I started acting. Um, I wouldn't say acting. He actually directed me Benjilo advert. He directed, and I quite remember I was just 18 or 19 years, just telling me the moves and everything. He had, he was, he was, he was, he was full of everything. I I I really miss him and. Um, I quite remember I had scripts that I was supposed to even play his husband. Can you imagine somebody that I was young that I grew up to, to see? And uh, well, it's, it's a big loss in the industry. He will be remembered and what can I say? May his soul rest in peace. Especially times like this, I really, I really feel it, yeah. May his soul rest in peace. I would say he was a director, he was a fantastic actor. He was everything that we are going to really miss in the industry. It's a big gap. I would say 
he was, his sense of humor. He was a very funny guy, and uh, he used to crack jokes all the time. But what was cool about him, he told great stories, and he had such colorful commentary. That I'm gonna miss a lot. Um, he was a painter. People don't know this, but I was also a painter. I'm still, I'm actually a painter still. And we had that in common, so we would meet, you know, we'd exchange ideas and all that kind of stuff. Um, as a grown-up, uh, getting to know him as a grown-up was a little more different because he wasn't my big brother anymore. We're just two grown-ups now, so the relationship changed where he wanted me to actually, actually act in some movies that he was producing and all that kind of stuff. So um, what I'm really going to miss about him is the fact that we connected mentally, artistically, and the fact we're good friends is what we could say. And the fact that I look like him, you know, testifies to the fact that we're quite close.